Hey, Electric Football fans, Coach Wyatt here to demonstrate the process of applying Tudor Games uniform decal sheets to a runner figure. Before we get started, let's review some of the tools that I'll be using during the application process. I have a pair of tweezers here. These are available for sale on TudorGames.com and are excellent for pulling decals carefully off the backing and placing them on our figures. In addition, I also have on sale at TudorGames.com this stainless steel application tool. This is going to be really helpful when we're setting the edges on our decals so that they don't move anywhere and also applying the decals smoothly to the figure with minimal wrinkles. In addition, I also have this razor blade that's really excellent for uh, taking the flashing off of a figure. Uh, flashing is any excess uh, plastic that's left over after the molding process and sometimes you can find them on our figures um, atop the shoulders or on top of the head as well. So you just need to flake any of that excess plastic off with a razor blade or even uh, the, uh, the blade of a pair of scissors. I also have a uh, pencil here. This is optional, but really helpful for the first few figures that you do. Uh, you can just roll the uh, graphite um, along the outer edge of the figure's leg to highlight this mold line here. That mold line is gonna be very helpful when we're applying our first uniform decal. I also have off screen here a blow dryer um, that's really helpful for adhering the helmet decals, but we'll talk about that more later. Now that we have everything we need, we'll need to find the correct sheet of uniforms for the runner figure that we'll be working on today. I'm going to be using the Seattle Seahawks electric green color rush uniforms. So let's find sheet C, which contains all the decals for our runner figures. And here it is. So here's sheet C and we can see the runner is pictured. That means we want to use this sheet with this type of figure. So let's get started with our first uh, uniform decal. And that's going to be decal number one, the back of the pants. And there's our decal here. So there's two leg stripes and we're going to match one of these leg stripes to the mold line that we, uh, that we highlighted with our pencil. So I'll pick up my figure here and find that mold line and I'm just going to line up these two the leg stripe with that mold line. I also want to make sure that it's high enough up on the leg that it reaches up to the waistline up here as well. So there we go, that looks pretty good. Now you notice that I was able to pull off the decal and adjust it until I got it right where I wanted it. Right there along the mold line. Now I'm going to pull out my application tool and set that edge. I'm just gonna press down against this edge here, the leg stripe, to make sure that it doesn't go anywhere. There we go. I can tug at this corner and that decal is secure. Okay, I'm gonna grab this corner again and wrap it around the waistline and attach it onto the other side, on the other uh, leg of the figure. This is also going to match the mold line on the other leg. And there we are. I placed it right where I want it. I'll take out my application tool again and smooth it out. Setting that edge, making sure that the decal is applied. Now that I've got those two edges set, I've got three flaps here at the back. I've got one central flap which I'll just push up out of the way for the moment. And then I've got two side flaps here uh, that will wrap around the back of the legs. So I'll take my application tool again. I've got two sides here, a thin side and a thicker one. I'm gonna use the thicker side now, starting at this uh, leg stripe. And I'm just gonna push all of this material back across the back of the leg ironing out any wrinkles along the way. And then once I've got it around the back of the leg there, I'm just gonna press and adhere it to the inner 
part of the thigh, just like that. There we go, look at that, looks excellent, very good. And then we'll just move on and do the same thing on the other leg, starting at the leg stripe and pushing out all that material, smoothing it out with our application tool. And then adhering it to the inner part of that leg. All right. Once we got those two flaps stuck down, we're just gonna take our tweezers and pull the central flap down and through the legs. Now I'll take my thumb and I'm just gonna press down on the whole, the decal itself, just sort of really sticking it down, adhering it to the figure. And there we go, we got our first decal sheet applied to our uniform. All right, there, looking good. So now we can move on to the second decal sheet. Uh, that is gonna be the right front pant leg. So let me pull it off of the backing here. And here's the decal, let's see. There it is. All right, you see that edge? Now that edge right there is going to be uh, lined up with the pant leg on the right leg of the figure that we just uh, applied the first uniform decal to. So I'll find that right leg here, and that edge is just going to fit right up against the leg stripe. And I'm gonna stick it down, and where I can pick it back up until I get it right where I want it. That's looking pretty good. Okay, I think that'll work. So we'll take our application tool, set that edge, just like that, very good. I'm gonna take this corner here and just wrap it around and adhere it again to that inner part of the leg, just like that. Take my application tool, press that down, make sure it's nice and stuck down. Very good. Let me grab my thumb here and I'm just going to start at the knee and just roll down. There we go, applying the knee. And then I've also got this little folded part up here. I'll take my application tool and just flatten that out just like that. There we go. And then I'll just run my application tool all around this decal again, make sure it's nice and applied. That looks really good. Okay. Next we'll be applying sheet number three, the left front pant leg. This one's gonna be very similar to the last one we did, uh, just on the other side, on the other leg. All right, so we'll use that, uh, that edge there to match with the leg stripe. So we'll line them up just like that. Excellent, very good. You can see it lined up very nicely there. Take my application tool and adhere once more. Remember, I'm just doing this edge here just to make sure the decal doesn't go anywhere when I pull it from the other edge. So this is actually a really nice uh, figure uh, because the arm is up out of the way here. So I'm just gonna take my thumb and roll all the way across from the leg stripe here towards the front. And you can see it does a really good job uh, just cleanly applying that decal. So I'll take my application tool and I'm just gonna adhere this edge to the inner part of the thigh once more. And just gonna run that application tool all around, smoothing out any wrinkles, any bubbles, and just applying it nice and cleanly. There we 
we go. All right, so we've got both the um, front pant legs and the back of the pants finished. So now we can move on to the socks. Okay, so here we are gonna be applying the right sock. So you can see there's a little indentation up at the top of the decal there. We're gonna be slotting that right behind the figure's right knee. We'll take the figure here, find his right leg. And just like I said, we're gonna slip it right behind the figure's knee so that that little in indentation uh, is resting right there. And if we do it right, we should have about two equal size flaps on either uh, side of the leg there. So I'll just take one of those two flaps and pull it around and adhere it to the front. And then I'll take the other side. There we go, there's a good view. And wrap it around to the front. Using my thumb there to smooth it out nicely. And there we go, we got one sock on. Let's move on to the other one, the left sock. So here's the left sock, it looks just the same as the right and we're gonna use the same process to apply it. So this time the left leg will slot in slot that uh, indentation right behind the left knee. Set the edge a little bit there. We've got our two flaps. We'll take one and wrap it around to the front. And same with the other. Press down with my thumb and there we go. Our pants of our jersey are finished. And now we're ready to apply detail, uh, decal number six. That is gonna be the back of the jersey. So here's what that looks like. I've got a few flaps here and we've got that uh, indentation. This one is gonna slot right behind the figure's neck. So let me show you where that goes. Here's our figure. And we're just going to, like I said, try to get that indentation right up next to the figure's neck there. Just like that, that's looking pretty good. Make sure we wanna make it straight on. Yeah, I think that'll work. Good, so once you've got it in a spot where you think it's um, correct, take your thumb and give it a little back rub. Now it is nicely uh, stuck there. And we'll flip him around to the front. And we've got these two flaps that go, that go up over his shoulders. So I'll take one of them and pull it down. With my thumb, I'll sort of iron it out a little bit, making sure that those uh, shoulder flaps are adhered to the front of the figure's jersey. Do the same for the next one. And there we go, that looks really good. Take my thumb or my application tool, really stick those down. All right, nice. Now I'll flip back uh, and I'm just going to apply these two side flaps to the sides of the figures, one here and then one underneath the arm. And there we go. So we've got two flaps that are uh, that will stay unadhered for the moment. We will stick those down once we've got the front of the jersey on. Okay, make sure that that gets nice and stuck down. Okay, very good. And now we'll move on to the seventh of the uh, decal sheets. This is the front of the jersey. There it is, we've got the little NFL logo there. That is gonna 
uh, match right underneath the figure's chin. This one's pretty easy. Pick it up, and we're just going to line it up. Let's see here. Making sure that that NFL logo goes under the chin. It's nice and centered. That looks pretty good. And I'm just gonna take my thumb and forefinger here and give it a squeeze, just like that. And you can see that will stick down the front of the jersey very nicely. All we'll need to do is take our application tool and adhere those side flaps again to the sides of the figure. One there and then one under the arm. Very good, excellent. We've got the front of the jersey applied. And now we'll work on those shoulder straps. So I'll take this one, I'm gonna grab the edge and just roll it over the side of the shoulder and adhere it to the front, just like that. Same with the other side. And there we go, looking really good. I'll take my application tool, iron out the little corners, and press down those shoulders. Let's give them a look. All right, looking really good. All right, now it's time to apply the helmet to the figure. So we're gonna uh, grab decal number eight, which is the top of the helmet. Let's see, it looks like this. And we can see there is a small white rectangle at the bottom there. That rectangle we're gonna slot right in the middle of the figure's neck. So let's see where that goes. Like I said, we're gonna take that uh, white rectangle and tuck it just above the jersey line there, right in the center of the back of the figure's neck. I'll take my application tool and adhere Looking good. I'll flip him to the front. And I'm gonna take and just center it. Just like that. All right, so you can see here, uh, the, the decal is applied in the right spot, but not all of it is adhered down. <clears throat> so here's where the optional part comes in. I can take a blow dryer or a heat gun uh, and I'm going to turn it on to low. Now really you don't want to overheat this or it will cause some problems, but I'm just going to turn it on and I'm just going to heat this unadhered uh, decal sheet right here. Okay, that's all you need, just a couple seconds. And now that it's a bit uh, warmed up, I'm gonna take my finger here, start at the base, start at the back. I'm just gonna gently roll forward. Starting at the back, rolling forward. You can also take your thumb and forefinger, pinch, roll forward. And that will adhere it really nicely and smoothly to that round part of the figure's head. All right, looking really good. We're almost done. Okay, so the last of the main decals that we need to apply are the sides of the helmet. Uh, that is decal sheet number nine. And it looks like this. So here we've got another one of those white rectangles. This one is gonna slot right above the figure's nose. I'll show you right where it goes. And 
just like I said, that white rectangle is gonna fit right there in the center of the figure's face. There it is, perfect. Once I've got it there, I'm gonna flip them around and we'll see here that the Seahawks have actually got a logo that wraps all the way around the back of the helmet. So we can use these stripes here to line up the, the uh, helmet really nicely. So I'm gonna grab one of these two corners here, this one, and just pull it around, trying to line up those stripes, just like that. Once I've got them lined up, grab my application tool and just adhere that little corner there. Just like that, excellent. Same thing with the other side. I'm gonna grab that little corner and wrap it around, matching up those stripes. Really good. I'll adhere that one more time. Okay, there's a couple flaps here that we can apply and adhere to the cheeks. All right, and look at that, we are almost done. So we've got the helmet applied, but again, I'm just gonna heat it up with that uh, blow dryer, that heat gun, one more time. Um, again, this is optional, but it really helps to smooth out that round uh, part of the, uh, the figure, the head, which is uh, kind of difficult. So let me show you. Just a couple seconds is all you need. And then again, I'm gonna take my thumb and forefinger. I'm gonna press, squeezing the head and rolling backwards. Just like that. One more time. And there we go. Look at that, it's beautifully adhered to the figure. And all that's left to do is apply the uh, uniform numbers. And then we can have a fully customized Seattle Seahawks electric green color rush uniform. Hope you enjoyed the video.